Hello and welcome. I am Velf. Pleasure to meet you all. I decided to make a little video on how do you use hand tracking here. And well, let's say it could be a pain. There's two different ways, but I'm only going to show one in this video. So pay very close attention as I've seen a lot of videos like this and people skip a lot of steps. And I'm not going to skip any steps. I'm just going to take it slow for you all. First, I'm going to go here. All right. And we're going to log. You're going to go to the booth here using this address, which will be linked. And pretty much this is free webcam ham tracking software with VMC for VC phase in VR chat. Um, this is you know, unpaid hand tracking. So there's two two different ones uh, i guess this one's just just follow them on their twitter uh, if you haven't you should uh, they have a discord group but that's pretty much what i'm gonna go into um once you download it which i already have you're gonna come here and yeah you're you're gonna see me disappear you're gonna see my desktop for from this point onward a little bit i'm gonna have to close this up so once you're here and you're gonna unpackage it right and once you have it on package, you're gonna run wh whether your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. For me, I have a 64-bit, um, so I'm gonna run this. And I'm just gonna let you know, um, you, you can keep the default model, it doesn't matter, as long as it's Vroid compatible. Now, if it's a custom model, it might function a little different. So first, we're gonna go ahead and to settings here the adjust the camera settings right so you got two cameras you can use remember if you're using one camera from one app over the other one it won't work so if i use this here i cannot use it on vc face means i have to resort to my other one so i'm gonna go ahead and use the built-in webcam since it's a built-in one in my actual laptop we're gonna leave it there and then let go of it Actually, you know what? Second thought, I'm going to use the better webcam here. So, the Inky one is really good for tracking and everything. I have not had no really issues with tracking with it. Works in really low light. So, once you've done that, you can load your model here if you want, or you can just leave the default one, doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to take this code here and use that. Um, you can go ahead and start the camera movement, and you can also start that. So, as you can see, I'm moving. So, I actually noticed that when I twist my uh, wrist, see how the mush is um, messing up there? There's really no fix to it, and if there is a fix, I don't know how. That's like one of the main concern issues I've been having. Anything that deals with V-Ray models have that issue. Uh, custom models, mm, I'm not sure because I don't have a custom one to test it, but I would assume so. And you see how the eye is twitching, right? That, that's because of the tracking or so. It's a little buggy on the eye tracking. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and minus this now. And we're going to go ahead and open up VC face. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. So, as you see, I, I'm using this. So, I can't use the Yankee now to rely on my default built in camera, which is fine. It's good enough for tracking. So, I prefer my Yankee because it works better in low light. Um, you can have wing support or not. Um, we're going to go with just normal quality because I already tried wing support. So, we're going to go with normal. Then we're going to click start. And it takes a bit of load. So we can move our head a bit. I'm going to go ahead and position correctly. And I'm going to go to settings, general. I'm going to scroll all the way down to here. 
So what you're going to do is the OSC or VMC receiver, you're going to enable it. Um, this you want to leave zero. One shape smoothing and all that you don't have to use. I played around with it. It didn't notice much of a change. Maybe you'll notice much of a change if yours is custom or not. But yeah, there's not much. So, while you're in this position, what you're going to enable here are the are these following this the point coolant receiver. You're going to set the the three 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 all across until you have them correct. And these are the main ones you're going to apply: fingers, waist, um, wrist, hands to shoulders, and spine and chest. So you move around. It's kind of like eh. Can't do much, but I noticed a lot of users had issues with the uh, head moving. As you see, I can't move my head, and that's because you got to apply the head and neck. If you don't want to use that and you prefer to use uh, VC face, you can go back here and apply VC face tracking. And if you do, just make sure you turn that one off and then apply this and whatever you want to use here. So let's turn all these off. So just the head and tracking. So you see that my mouth is not moving now. You have to enable track facial features. That will get your jaw, eyes, and the blend shapes, like the mouth. Um, I'm not going to talk about expressions here. Um, the tracking finger on here, um, don't really know that does much, but. So now I'm going to show you here. I'm going to move this right over here. I'm going to move my hand up, right? I'm going to turn it. And you see how the mush starts messing up as I twist my wrist? Yes. Um, if you even use VC face tracking, it really won't fix it or do anything. So let me turn that one back off again. So I'm not going to apply it and then. I try to turn my hand, and it won't. So if I try to use the one in VC face tracking, nothing. So it would be pointless to have this one on. But the track head and fingers will work. Um, the one for VC face will probably work with something different, like mag, um, motion and stuff. So that's probably why it's there. So we're gonna leave those off because we don't have one to test. So yeah, you can use your hands this way regardless of the main issue like this right here. So as you see, both my hands are weird now. Um, this is an issue with the Vroid models. If you use Vroid Studio to make your model, it's an issue. And I've seen plenty other people who have used um, VC Phase not have that issue. I'm not sure why it's a common issue on my model. And I even created a new different one to test this out, and it was the same results no matter what I did. Whether I made the you know, wrist beefier or not, same results. But hey, now you know how to use tracking and kind of play around with the settings to figure out what you need on what you need to apply. So I hope this was a helpful video. If not, please do leave a comment and you know, a thumbs up. And I will try to make another one that is simple and easy to understand. I hope this was simple and easy for you. And also me voicing my little issue concerns about this. So you still have another choice. So stay tuned for the another video with a different hand tracking, with, which won't have that issue. Till then, take care, everybody.